What took you into Hollywood? A commercial that I had done. Which was? Uh, Seago. It was filmed, it's a diet drink, and I, I, I didn't weigh any more than I do now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it, was, it wasn't just holding up a product and saying, here, buy this. Um, it was um, a, a storyline um, where uh, I'm walking down the street and this little boy uh, whistles at me. And I turn and look at him and smile. And of course, I'm slim and, you know, all that, you know. Anyway, that was the commercial that Alfred Hitchcock saw. And he said to his people at Universal, find the girl. That's what I became known as over there, the, the girl. girl. And how did you yeah. feel being brought to Hollywood by so famous a man? Well, I had already, let's see, I'd been living in, in New York with my daughter, Melanie. And, um, you know, after, after 10 years of modeling, it kind of goes away, you know, and I'm thinking, what am I going to do now? So I thought, well, I, let's move back to California. So Melanie and I packed up the dog and the cat and the bunny, and we moved to, back to California. And I rented an expensive home in Brentwood, and I'm thinking, what am I going to do now? Because I, nothing really was happening financially. And um, on Friday, the 13th of October, in 1961, I received a phone call asking if I was the girl in the Seago commercial. I said, why do you want to know? They said, well... Do you devote a lot of time in the book? I can't wait to read this. To Thank Hitchcock? You. I devote a good bit of time with, they with did Hitchcock. They a show about it on television? They yes. A show about him? Yeah, called The Girl. What, was it sexual? Was he after you physically? Um, it, yes. And that, but that didn't happen until we were almost finished with Marnie. And, um, uh, you know, it, it really was so upsetting to me that he would pull that card. That I, um... It was the birds before that? Mm-hmm. He never did it during the birth? Never. Never. No. And just to the, was he okay up to then? Yes. Easy yes. to work with? Oh, yes. And he and Alma were my drama coaches. And, you know, it was a, it was a, a perfect situation. Just perfect. So what did you make of it when it happened near the end of Marnie? It was, it was the end of Marnie. And um, it was just very disappointing and disturbing and um, a situation that I couldn't live with. So I said I wanted to get out of the contract and, and um, he said, well, you can't. You have your daughter to take care of and your parents are getting older. And I said, well, um, you know what? They, they would be more concerned about my level of integrity than they than that and you know, it's funny that you know. today you see a lot of sexual predators right? yes unfortunately did he actually touch you no no but he made it clear what he wanted yes uh, did you ever see him after that I did I went to the, uh, there was a big event for him uh, at one of the big hotels and um, some people were saying, why did you go to this? And I said, well, I, I really have the capabilities of separating the artist from the man. And so you compartmentalize? Yes. How good a director was he? Oh, awesome. Really wonderful. Watch new episodes of Larry King Now, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, on demand on Aura TV and Hulu.